Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick book review of The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. So Gary Keller is one of the co-founders of Keller Williams Real Estate, and Jay Papasan is the vice president of learning at Keller Williams Real Estate. Now down here underneath the title, the subtitle says, The Surprisingly Simple Truth Behind Extraordinary Results. Now before I get into the book itself, let me just say that I really enjoyed this book. Uh, I'm not a huge reader. I read very slowly. It takes me a long time to comprehend what I'm reading. Uh, sometimes I'll have to read a page or a paragraph multiple times before it really sinks into my head. With this book, for some reason, the content was so interesting to me and so relevant to my life that I just poured through it and I really enjoyed it. Every time I set the book down, I couldn't wait to pick it back up again. So right on the front of the book, it says number one Wall Street Journal bestseller. And then on the back, it also says two million copies sold, New York Times bestseller, number one Amazon bestseller, USA Today bestseller. And there's a big question mark on the back that says, what's your one thing? So I first heard about this book mentioned in a video by Sunny Leonarduzzi. She's a YouTuber who helps people like me grow on YouTube. So if you're interested in picking up this book, there's a link down in the description. So check that out as well as a bunch of other links. I'm also going to be doing a blog post about this with a little more detail about my notes and everything. And then on my Patreon, I'm going to be sharing all my notes. I've got pages of notes that I'm only gonna be sharing with my Patreon subscribers. So links for all that stuff down below. Now I'm not a huge fan of these covers on hardcover books. So when I read them, I pull, it's the first thing I do is pull it off and I stick it in a drawer until I'm done with the book. And the book underneath is pretty cool. It's just this matte black book with just kind of random design on it. And on the edge just says The One Thing by Keller Papazan. Pretty cool, nothing on the back. And inside the book, first page is blank, but the first thing you see, if you chase two rabbits, you will not catch either one. Now, as the title suggests, the point of this book is to help you find the one thing. Now here's the entire table of contents for this book. As you can see, it is very straightforward. Um, there are three main parts, the lies, the truth, and extraordinary results. And before you get into the three main parts, there's the three like entry chapters. The one thing where they explain basically what the one thing is, the domino effect, which as you can see by this image in the book, they show small domino can knock over a slightly larger domino, which can knock over an even larger domino, and that keeps going down the line. So that's basically what they're saying with whatever you're trying to do, whatever this one thing is that you do. Once you do one small thing, you, it, it automatically helps like you grow your success. So chapter three is titled Success Leaves Clues. Uh, this is something I hear all the time from somebody that I follow on YouTube, Sean Cannell from Think Media, who's another person like Sonny Leonarduzzi, who is just out there to help YouTubers grow. And this is something like, you don't have to be completely original. Yes, it is great to be original and be yourself 100%, but as far as the business side of it goes and how everything works, whether it's with what I'm doing with YouTube or anything, any business, uh, you can look at the way that somebody else did it before you. That's why there's that saying, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Like the wheel works. Yes, there's need for innovation and doing things differently. But a lot of the time, a majority of what people are doing has already been done. So again, success leaves clues. Look for the success and look for the clues to how to succeed yourself. Hey, if you're getting anything of value out of this right now, go down below, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, ring that notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. So part one is all about the lies, the things that get in the way of us doing the things that are the most important. We need to learn how to say no to people. Like a lot of times people will ask me to do something and I just say yes. I'm getting way better at saying no when I know my plate is already full and I can't take something on but I used to be really bad at that and I would just always immediately say yes. Like somebody needs me, yes, I can help them, but I'm getting better at learning to say no. Something I really loved about this chapter was they talk about multitasking and it is like impossible to do, especially for people like me. Like 
Multitasking was actually a phrase that was coined in the 60s having to do with computers. And it did not mean that they were doing multiple things at the same time. It meant they were able to switch rapidly from one thing back to another. So if you think about it, there's not many things that you can actually do at the same time. Like you cannot really read your emails while writing out bills at the same time. You can go back and forth, you can look at that screen and then look at your checkbook, but you can't actually do them at the same time. So if you just check your emails, focus on that, get it done, and then go to your checkbook, fill out your bills, get it done, that's like the one thing. Like they're, again, they're helping you throughout this book simplify how to stay focused and organized so that you can focus on the one thing that is most important. And speaking of that, in part two of the book, they mention this phrase which they keep coming back to again and again and everything points back to this one thing, right? But here's the phrase. What is the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? So in this section of the book, they just help you kind of figure out what the one thing is. Now there could be a broad one thing, but they really want you to narrow down the most important thing. So let's say you want to start a new business. That is a very big one thing. So if you narrow that down, like I need to make a phone call or I need to do such and such, whatever, whatever the thing is, like that is your one thing. Now there's a phrase in here that I liked so much that I typed out, printed, and taped to the wall behind my computer monitor. And it says, until my one thing is done, everything else is a distraction. So that really helps me. It's right there, I'm looking right at it when I'm working at my desk, and it helps me really to stay focused when I see it there. All right, let's try this again. I was just editing this video and the entire audio from here on out cut out. So here we go. So part three of the book is talking about extraordinary results. It's like basically how to do your one thing. And they talk about time blocking in this section and that you should do four hour chunks for your one thing. And not only should you time block your one thing, but you should also time block your time off as well as time block planning time because we all know it takes time to plan out everything in life. So to set aside specific time to do planning, time off, and your one thing is very important. So that's basically the boiled down version of this book. Part one, what not to do. Part two, what to do. And part three, how to do it. Now obviously, I just barely touched on what's actually in this book. I just wanted to like kind of cover the, um, the basics of what it's all about. So uh, I highly recommend you pick it up for yourself. I really enjoyed this book, give it two thumbs up. So if you wanna check it out, there's a link down in the description, as well as a whole bunch of other links, as I said earlier on. So uh, check all those out. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon, as I said, I will be releasing these notes through there, as well as a blog post. So that'll all, all be down in the description. I guess that's it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below, please. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing to the channel. Click that notification bell to be notified of my new videos. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.